do you know about the genetic abnormalities and the presence of ring sideroblasts as they impact treatment decisions for low-risk MDS? I'm Dr. Joel Alson, and this is a second of a five-part CE-certified TikToktivity on anemia in low-risk MDS from MLI. If you missed the first video by Dr. Sanjay Juneja, also known as the Ankh Doc, Please check that out as your earliest convenience. Certain morphological criteria must be met to diagnose MDS. Of note, there are patients with anemia due to idiopathic cytopenia of unknown significance, or ICUS, or clonal cytopenia of unknown significance, or CCUS, whom we do not want to confuse with having MDS. These patients may develop disease but do not meet the criteria. We should always be cognizant of the impact a delayed diagnosis or a misdiagnosis can have on patients' quality of life. MDS can be classified using the updated WHO 2022 or the ICC 2022 criteria, which differ in a few ways. For the WHO 2022, MDS is classified by defined genetic abnormalities, such as an isolated deletion of 5Q, SF3B1 mutation, or biallelic T53 inactivation. MDS is also morphologically defined by blast count, fibrosis, and hypoplasia. Unlike the WHO, the ICC categorizes MDS based off single lineage versus multi-lineage dysplasia. It also introduced a new MDS slash AML category defined as having 10 to 19% blasts in the peripheral blood or bone marrow. See the notes below for more information. Once the initial diagnosis of MDS is made, patients are risk stratified using the IPSSR to determine prognosis and choice of therapy. The SCORM system considers cytogenetics, the degree of cytopenias, and bone marrow blast percentage. A score of less than or equal to 3.5 points is considered low risk MDS, which includes patients with very low, low and intermediate risk disease. Median survival is approximately three to nine years. Check out one of these handy IPSSR online calculator tools. A new scoring system, IPSS-M, incorporates molecular abnormalities detected by next generation sequencing to further help define the MDS prognosis. For example, the SF3B1 mutation occurs frequently with ring sideroblasts is associated with an indolent disease course and a more favorable outcome. In contrast, the P53 mutation is an adverse prognostic risk factor. I must specify the P53 allelic state matters. Patients with two versus just one P53 mutations have poorer outcomes. Lastly, patient-specific risk factors such as age, performance status, comorbidities should be considered when determining prognosis and treatment. Please click the link in the comments to find out more about this topic as well as other videos in this series. Now, I'm going to pass things over to the Ankh brothers who I've tagged below. Let's keep this conversation going. To get credit for this activity, please don't forget to answer the questions on the link below.